I would never have taken any nudes of Marilyn if she didn't want to do it. I wasn't out to do nudes. I was out to do pictures, but I didn't know about clothes. I didn't see her in clothes. I saw her with jewelry or with something to cover a little bit, but it ended up to be more nude than I meant. I decided I didn't want to shoot in the studio. I wanted something more personal. So we booked the biggest suite at the Bel Air Hotel and converted it into a studio. I had thrown all these accessories, scarves and jewelry on the bed. And she went over and she said, well, what do you want to do? I said, I don't know, what do you want to do? And she picked up this scarf and looked through it, which was transparent and she could see me. And then she, she understood why she said, you want to do nudes? And I said, well, that's a good idea. And she said, I have a scar. I said, well, I don't know it's your scar. She said, George? George was the hairdresser on the other side of the room. What do you think of us doing nudes with scarves? And he said, divine. And I knew that my life was in his hands at that very moment. That if he said, don't you dare, we never would have taken the pictures. And she went off into the bathroom and changed and came out, lifted up one of the layers so he could see through it. And she said, how's this for 36? And I said, I'm not afraid of you, Marilyn. She started to do her makeup. And I said, I don't think you need makeup. She said, oh, you want to be creative, huh? And I said, yeah. So we only used eyeliner. And then we started to take pictures with these scarves and jewelry. And I had to figure out the lighting. And I also knew that I would never do this again. This was a one time in a lifetime experience to have Marilyn Monroe in a, in a hotel room, even though it was turned into a studio where I could do anything I wanted. 